so much for the gifts. I really appreciate them. <coughs> Uh, are you not at work? No, I'm going today. No, Mbali, I said that my leave is finishing today. Because it's cold. Just when you thought the dog was down, Dr. Matthew Lani makes a triumphant return. And this time it's, uh, oh, it's amazing. Know if I can say so myself, like, yeah. Um, if you haven't heard, uh, Dr. Methulani is well, he was caught uh, on Sunday, he was caught by um, whatever place he just said he was talking about, the place where he said he worked. So they caught him and uh, he was sent to the to the, to the police station, he was arrested. But yeah, this is not the point of the story. The, f the point is, he's out and it's only been a day, and yeah, let's talk about it. Well, apparently Matthew had a TikTok account that was still running and he had a big following. He had, uh, I think about like 100k followers. So he has a, a loyal fan base, if we can call it that. Uh, I prefer calling it a cult, but yeah. He has a loyal fan base and he was uh, live streaming, telling them that he's going back to work after administrative leave. Administrative leave, you know. So uh, he, well, that's exactly what he did. And he live streamed his return to work check it out no i'm in theater <coughs> yeah thank you you're welcome wow for sure Okay, guys. Toodles. Got to go. Okay, guys. This is my locker. Who wants to report it? Who wants to report my locker? Who? Anybody? No. Shut up. Oh, yeah. Joy. My shift started a long time ago. See, as for cleaner, yes, I'm a cleaner. I'm a cleaner. So you so saw he he eventually arrived at the hospital, and then he just started uh, streaming himself in the locker room. So he went to the locker room. I didn't even know that doctors had locker rooms. Okay, like that's just. I just thought doctors came with what they were wearing. You know, with the. With the shirt on their backs but yeah apparently they had locker rooms but the thing he failed to do was open his locker and i know he could say no it's a privacy thing but bro you went to the locker room what if someone is changing okay i mean what if someone was naked what about their privacy but yeah he failed doing that he didn't show any well any real proof the locker didn't even have his name but uh yeah he continued on he went on a live stream as you saw he was in an elevator with people and then he just started adjusting his mask you know just like like first first of all why is he wearing a mask and a hoodie you could say it's cold fine it's a, it was sunday i felt it too but the mask f like from the entrance a mask and the stethoscope he's still wearing the stethoscope like that's mad like why are you still wearing that like it wouldn't that be the most obvious thing to show that it's him? Because personally, I've never seen a doctor wearing a stethoscope unless it was in his office. Unless they were inside the office doing something. I've never seen them walk outside with it. So, yeah, that's another fuck up. But, yeah, he ended up running away uh, during the stream. He ended the stream early so he can uh, run properly because I don't think you can run with your phone. Like, it's it's a bit weird. Like, just live streaming and just jogging there. But, yeah, he did that and he was caught. And this is him apologizing and begging for mercy. Tamara, the last one, we went into the theater locker room where they keep their safety things there. Mm. 
that is not corridor. Yes. That no, is I'm saying theater. about the That is the locus where yes. people keep their personal belongings that to them to. Yeah. But that time I'm like also very sorry for that. Mm. Like I honestly did not know how. Mm. I truly did not. But you've been warned and you still came. When warned by what? By the doctor that you, you, you were impersonating. I was not impersonating any doctor. Didn't you say when you had an intern in Helen Joseph? No. And you worked in Tembisa? No. Oh, okay. But your I videos will, will, will identify all of that. That's okay. The mm. thing with that one, with the Zingela Center, yeah. that it's was my Now, point. why are you saying you did not? No. No, I never said that I am th this person Zingela. No. What were you saying? My, I changed surnames. My old surname was Zingela. Mm. And that video was not from this year. This video was from two years ago. So you understand? it this year. No, this it has it has always been on my TikTok. So. <laughs> Fine, right here your your statement stating it's, you see the things you're telling me. Just put it here in writing that you came here. You are sorry. You were doing and your thing. You know, like um, you guys have already pressed charges and like Papa, I'm really sorry. You are you, you are causing deformation of our hospital daytime and. and for you to claim you are an intern in Helen Joseph Hospital, it says a lot of things. How many people have you given this medication? No, these are my ARV medications. And why are you saying you are bringing them to patients? No, like, I, like that I, I wearing a stethoscope and people that you meet outside thinking you are a doctor. Who knows what you're doing with that? I'm not doing anything. I've never seen patients. That's why, yeah, anything. Papa, we have to call the police because this is a public hospital yeah. and you are coming here mm -hmm. without any permission, I'm so talking sorry. to anybody, doing the I'm things so in our house, and putting it on a video and people thinking that this is a village. I'm so sorry. So, yes, you understand. Can you we'll just give more questions? No, I can't. Can you remember I told you that the CEO of the hospital is the one who is accountable. I've given the information. He's not at the premises at the moment. That will yeah. discuss with you. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I really am. You are really yeah. wasting our time, yeah. Papa. No, I will write. Can you please write the statement? I will write. But then he's taking me a video. Yeah. And my, he's a police. No, he works for the hospital. Mm -hmm. he's not. But then he told me that. Me? He. Oh. I think I'm really sorry. Hey. I'm truly sorry. Papa, I hear hey, that you are sorry and everything. Okay, the, the, the police will pardon you and the fact that you are sorry and you didn't. Uh, uh, we are not. Uh, no, 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 no. Can everybody please get out? No. No, no everybody uh, must uh, go out. No. Why jump to the police? I didn't. I was with you, my daughter. I didn't. I go to the police. I did not. Who is this? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That was him, you know, just basically just begging for, for them to just not let him write that letter. Maybe he's not even, I don't know, is he even educated, you know? But he, he didn't seem like he didn't want to write a letter because he knew he was wrong or uh, it was tedious. It seemed like he didn't even know how to write a letter. Like, imagine that. Imagine if he didn't even know how to write a letter, but he fooled people to think into thinking he's a doctor. Like, isn't that fucked? Imagine your doctor not even knowing how to write a simple letter. Dear mom, doesn't even know how to do that. But yeah, as you saw, after that entire apologizing thing, he was restrained to a chair. I, I, I know it like messed me up. I was like, what happened between that point and that point? Because it seemed very close. But uh, apparently, uh, according to the Gauteng Department of Health, this is what happened. They issued a statement of Sunday following this entire thing. The Houting Department of Health welcomes the capturing of the bogus Dr. Matthew Lani by security personnel at Helen Joseph Hospital on Sunday night. Helen Joseph Hospital, that's it, okay. He was apprehended while entering the main entrance of the facility. Lani was caught just before 8 p.m. disguised in a hoodie and wearing a surgical mask with a stethoscope around his neck. He was caught with the stethoscope. He had previously entered the same facility to curate misleading content under the pretense that he was a qualified doctor, and you guys did not notice. Immediately after being apprehended, Lani requested to go to the bathroom, only to attempt to escape by jumping through the bathroom window. Imagine that. Do you know how small a bathroom window is? So this guy got on the toilet seat, 
pushed his body through the toilet window like and started booking it but as he said when security realized that he was making a run for it they called reinforcements and he was subsequently apprehended so that's the video we saw where he was just you know just i don't know being a karen in front of everyone just why oh, hey, leave me alone hey, hey okay you can go you can go like just being so demanding and being princessy you know just being a princess for wolf for no reason it is the worst thing you could do was even in the video we heard where the the lady was uh, reprimanding him like imagine if uh, a patient saw him outside wearing his gets up you know with the mask stethoscope stethoscope like even though it's a dumb thing now that we see him wearing it if you saw a stethoscope before this thing you would think that person is a doctor like you'd 100% not think this is a TikToker who's just making content. This man was outside a hospital wearing a stethoscope and a mask. How he could have done damage, like if he wanted to, he could have, but he didn't. And they said uh, the police were immediately called, and Lani has been handed over to the police for an official arrest. So yeah, this is where we are now. He was subsequently arrested and sent to I don't know jail, some jail, or whichever was closest. And then uh, I think yesterday he went to court and the charges were dropped he was being charged with impersonating a doctor and apparently that's not good enough to get someone i don't know at least like a month in prison the person said well it's just he was just lying on the internet and you cannot arrest someone for lying on the internet which is weird because he didn't just lie on the internet he impersonated someone it's fraud he went to a health facility i'm sure he de decontaminated okay i'm pretty sure he contaminated a bunch of things like while he was making his content in uh theaters and things like that like this man was behind the scenes at hospitals he was there and he and people i'm pretty sure people thought he was a doctor too i think the people the staff they thought he was a doctor so the fact that they said no this is just it was just lies on the internet yeah it's just surprising to me like isn't it crazy how you can impersonate a, a health official but you can't impersonate like a, a a police officer like aren't those two like basically the same thing because you're dealing with lives at the end of the day but like that's serious fraud but i guess uh your health does not matter south africa you can just yeah he was, he was just he was just lying he was just lying on the internet like uh, you guys are just being uh so losers you know just because he got paid like a doctor so this is his lawyer defending him and uh just clearing up what happened in the entire case and why it was dropped so we said yesterday that uh, as far as we're concerned the state there's no prima facie case against uh, the accused indeed so uh, we have wise prosecutors who went to the docket and uh, they concurred with us that indeed so there is no case against him and as a result the charges against him have been withdrawn however there will be possible investigations if there are new developments on the matter the matter may be reinstated at the last stage but uh, for now the charges have been withdrawn what charges are those he was actually facing one kind of impersonating a doctor and um, uh, as we already indicated impersonating his conduct on the trial was just doing it for entertainment there is no complaint here who says that uh, so yeah that's that's all that happened basically you know he lied on tiktok sold like people forget he sold like mkaba pills you know like weight loss pills but you know they brushed that off and they were like no he just lied that's all he did he just lied guys he just just told a little lie on the internet and just you know blew up overnight like that's like you guys are just making a big deal out of it like that's basically what's happening like we're basically being gaslighted into thinking that now nah, this guy the only thing he did was lie like that's his biggest crime and to top it all off i don't know how he even got a lawyer like this guy looks like a proper lawyer because the fact that he was out within a day is just amazing like don't they have enough evidence to at least stretch it out a week like just a week you couldn't put this guy on trial for a week it was a day maybe not even a day probably like just a couple of hours and they were like yeah case dismissed yeah we're just dropping the charges dropping the charges but yeah that's what happened guys uh just tell me am i am i over exaggerating uh should i just also you know just laugh it off you know he was just he was just lying on the internet it's not not a big deal but yeah just tell me what you guys think and uh i'll see you guys next time for another video Peace.